Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this update on Hook, the Hook protocol and the Hook token. Um, wanted to update it today because, uh, well, today was a fair, or yesterday actually, started yesterday, was uh, was very, very bullish for Hook. Uh, in total, we were up, give me a brief moment, in total, we were up 24%. Volume absolutely crazy and around 400 million right now. Um, and if you take a look at the sources, you can see that, well, actually over 30% of the volume is coming from sources, which I, I would deem um, not 100% reliable in terms of if that's uh, if that's real volume or at least not real volume, or but I suppose uh, unmanipulated volume. Uh, so that's not great, um, but still we're very bullish and we have been bullish well, ever since the, the, the middle of January practically. Um, last analysis I did was around the 28th of January. There I said that from this level we would probably drop down to the support level around 2.8 uh, and then from there I would update it. So uh, it's already some time ago, but that was last analysis. And now I wanted to, uh, I wanted to take a look at it again. Um, to my knowledge, there are no fundamental developments surrounding Hooks Protocol. Most of you know, if you follow my videos and if you have uh, subscribed to me uh, from my Hooks Protocol videos, most of you know that I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Hook Protocol and I'm a fan of what they're doing, um, but there doesn't, seems to, doesn't seem to be any founda fundamental foundation for the bullish momentum we're seeing in the last 24 hours. There's an NFT collection that's, uh, that's being minted, the Hooked Avatar NFT second batch right here, as you can see, um, which potentially is a little bit bullish for Hook, but usually you don't see moves like these because of that. All right, so I know that's going on but I don't attribute this move to that news. So right now, uh, what happened to the price to, uh, to get started with talking about the technicals? We had a major psychological resistance level at $4. Now, if I, uh, want, if, if I have to remind you how we react sometimes to psychological levels, I only need to show you this move. We got the 10th of December uh, when we uh, got to $3 and from there start cr started crashing down to around a dollar. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to, going to happen right now, but I am saying that we hit a major resistance level. So what we would want to do, I guess, is get towards the ne next price target around 4.4. And I think we can do that, but it, it depends mostly on this level right here around 3.6 uh, 3 and 3.5, because I'll tell you what's going to happen, at least on the short term. Um, right now we found resistance at a significant resistance even tried it twice. So we're going to drop down to this level here at 3.6 and 3.5, uh, which is also supported by the 3A2 FIB. We're going to find support here initially. It's, it's too strong not to find support there initially. But what we would then need to do to really break about $4 is we need to prove that we're strong enough with Hook to actually hold these levels. So we're going to drop down there. We're going to find support there. We need to hold it for at least two days. If we can do that, then I think we'll break above $4 and get towards the next tar target between 4.4 and 4.5. Now, I think because of the nature of these moves around Hook Protocol, um, I think that, as I said, we will surely be able to find some support at 3.6, 3.5, but I don't think we're strong enough to hold it. I think we're also going to drop down, or also I think we're going to fall down further towards this level here around 3.25. And I even think, which might be a little bit of a risky thing to say, but I even think we'll drop down to $3. And then from there, I do think we can actually get, get, get another rally started and get towards $4 again, and perhaps even get towards 4.5. Uh, but I also leave that a little bit up to uh, future me to analyze. Uh, but I think that initial drop is, uh, is at least coming. Now, I'm not sure whether, uh, whether 3.25 as a support is really going to give up, um, but that does Historically, if we're looking at Hook Protocol in the last week, that, that does seem to be the, um, the most expected outcome, at least in my opinion and according to my analysis. So that's my take on Hook for uh, tonight. If you do have any questions, uh, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.